Established in 1891, the Massachusetts Maritime Academy, located in Buzzard Bay, Massachusetts, is world-renowned for its Department of International Maritime Business. As one of the professors in that department, Dr. Posha Figilendovu led the visits to Durban, South Africa, where they were warmly welcomed by the Etiwini Maritime Cluster. U.S. Consul General N. Linney let us in on the valuable relationship the U.S. has with South Africa and other countries within the maritime industry. South Africa is so uniquely placed as sitting on both the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. I believe no other country shares. And it is, they serve as a bridge between Asia, Africa, and North America, not to mention Europe. And I think that for South Africa to be as effective, part of what they've done so well over the years is marry all those cultures together. And I think South Africa, for all South Africans, getting out beyond their borders is an important way to see the important role that South Africa plays in the world. As two of the strongest democracies on the planet, the relationship between the US and South Africa is incredibly strong, incredibly durable. What we would really like to see, and what I really encourage more Americans to see, is that a trip to South Africa can happen at any price point, at any age. So I really would love to see more Americans traveling to South Africa under any reason. For this trip, I'm really interested in just seeing the different ports and seeing how they actually manage the logistics and do the importing and exporting process of bringing items in to, uh, into the, the ports. Uh, my expectations too, just to become familiar with some of the, uh, the roles that people play here in the business programs and maybe see what I could be interested in in the future. As an avid advocate for education, Dr. Porsche Dlovo consults and teaches, thus inspiring others to pursue their personal aspirations in the field of maritime law and commerce. When I eventually succeeded securing a permanent job at UKZN, which was a very long road in itself, I realized that I had published books, I had written papers, I had done everything it takes to show my commitment to academia. And I felt that I had to sort of create space for younger people to take that position that I was doing. You know, it wasn't enough for me to sit at an institution and say, oh, I am the diversity here. This is where the war ends. I wanted to really influence more or participate with the sort of first world to see how they do things. I wanted to be in that world so that I can also learn something and then put it back in my books while UKZN also mentors other younger people like me to also take my position because because um, being one of the first academic people in the space, I was considered a role model for some of the younger people who had never been academics in the space. So I was like, this is an African country, there's plenty of Africans who can take over my job, but let me see what I can do overseas and then still continue to influence Africa. Because when you are in academia, especially in the maritime world, you are always constantly in the global space. South Africa recently introduced maritime studies in high school and in the pursuit to allow students located in townships a chance to engage and learn about the world and opportunities that lie in maritime, the cadets visited a school in Umlaz. For the maritime education 